Pat Love from Love Healing Hearts. I have something very quick to share. This is very uh, disheartening. Now, I'm not sharing this as a minister of the gospel. I'm sharing this as a human being. You guys need to consider who you want to run this country. I'm not telling you who or who not to, but open your eyes. One thing you have to remember, hate begets hate. Violence begets violence. Bigotry begets more bigotry. And the, the beat goes on, baby. So when you want to watch things like this, I'm going to play this in the background. And I want you to hear just how ridiculous this is. I'm going to play it right now. She's asking, we all love America, right? Well, why can't we protest peacefully? Because what they are doing is following the example of the one they're there to support. I'm not naming names. You know which leaders are causing this. You know which leaders caused a woman to spit in another woman's face. You know what's causing a, a guy to punch another guy in the face because he voiced his opinion in a land where we're supposed to have freedom of speech. You want this country to go down the toilet? You keep this going on. I'm telling you, nobody has to worry about killing blacks. Nobody has to worry about killing Latinos. Nobody has to worry about killing poor whites. You know why? Because we'll do it to each other. If we're not careful, a whole lot of bloodshed will go down in the streets over nonsense and lies. And if you don't stop it, stop going to these conventions, stop going to these conferences, stop going to these demonstrations, you're going to lose a whole lot more than your pride. You're going to lose loved ones that it, when you look back at it, you realize there was no reason for them to die. There was no reason for a child to be stomped. There was no reason for a woman to be beat down to death. There was no reason for a man to be ganged up on and die. There's no reason for us hurting each other. You talk about America founded on God. God is love. What the heck are you doing out there hating on each other for? You're diametrically opposed to what the country was supposed to be about. Prayer. Pray to who? God. God Almighty. And some of you can try to erase God out of the picture all you want. And all you're going to do is wreak more of this. You're going to wreak more of that. You're going to wreak more killings. You're going to wreak more deaths. You're going to find children committing suicides and children killing children. When you remove prayer, you remove boundaries, you remove standards, you remove holiness, righteousness, love, peace, joy. You remove all that. Character, integrity, you remove all that because you want God out of the picture. Well, baby, there's only one other thing to let in, and that's the devil. And everything he's about, which is hate, bigotry, fighting, killing, destroying, maiming. Come on now. What are you doing? Whose hands are you playing into? As Americans, please. This is ridiculous. This shouldn't be like this. Just a second ago. All the sheriff's deputies that you saw, they're now in formation. They Why should they be in formation? Why should they be in formation? 
What are we doing? What sense does it make? Use your brain. All of this, half of you are out there to be entertained. You want to see a fight. You want to see a police car beaten down. So you bust the windows out and jump all over the top of it. whoop de doo And what does that accomplish for this country? I'm done. Because no matter what I play, it's just downright stupid. And if you play into their hands and hurt each other, I'm going to keep my comment to myself on that. Y'all need to be praying. You're playing too many games. You need to be praying. I'm done.